guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to be showing off some 9.9 .9 HD tanks that have been converted from their regular SD-ness into beautiful high polygon versions of their former selves. The very first tank I'd like to show off is the AMX 5100, as you can see here, looking glorious. Interloven wheels, a little bit of tracks, some turbo fans for the engine. I like some wearing on the edges, it looks good. Can't complain about that one, but I think it doesn't look anywhere near as good as this one. I think the SV FCM is probably the, the strongest if... Meh, this one and the T62 are, are looking pretty fine as far as quality, as far as I'm concerned. I really like the way the tracks look. I'm looking forward to when the ARL gets tracks that look like this. There's a number of French vehicles that have tracks that have these kind of like knobby little plates. I think they just look really cool. See all the tools in the front. I have the new anti-aliasing high quality rendering turned on. So you can see the edges look pretty good. There's no jaggies there. Can't really complain there. Nice antennas. Cool looking exhaust. Overall, I think the FCM turned out really well. And on to the British heavies. The awful tier 6 Churchill 7. One of my most despised tanks in the game. Does look pretty nice. Although its performance is probably still as crap as it was before. You can shoot the front of these tracks, do damage to it. The turret is actually has functioning armor, I think, from these tracks now. As far as I'm aware. It looks good, but... Wargaming actually made the horrendous mistake of making these hitboxes on the sides of the vehicle like like this would affect anything to do with the vehicle at all. I mean, there's probably like a diary in there, maybe some tools, maybe a hammer. Certainly nothing that would actually affect the tank, but you can shoot these and do damage to them, which is really, really stupid. But in general, the, the tank turned out pretty well. You see all the coil springs on the suspension. Not a bad looking tank if you like slow tanks with crappy 17 pounder guns. Next! Carnarvon. I think that the, the biggest change for me is that it looks like the tank's a little bit taller and there's this kind of stepped up lip here. I don't know, really know if that was there before, but it looks a little bit different. A little bit different to me. I still have this tank in my garage and I'm trying to grind out the crew to get them to be decent. So I have a crew for the Conqueror because my Conqueror crew will soon be going into the Chieftain when it arrives because I'm hoping it will arrive sooner rather than later and they can get off their asses and get the Chieftain out instead of HD and rising tanks that are already here. Lots of scrapes, lots of nicks, lots of scratches, some wearing on the edges. Overall it looks like they've got their outsourcing dudes shaping up into form. A little bit better, you can see some hit marks off the, the top of the turret and the gun mantlet. Carnarvon, not bad, but this is the tank I'm looking forward to the most. This is the Conqueror. This one has actually had its armor layout significantly upgraded and changed. So the front of these cheeks and the commander hatch at the top are not... This isn't as weak as it was before and it's not as tall, I don't think and the cheeks of the tank are a lot better and from what I understand this gun mantlet is now effective armor with all the sloping and everything to be about 550 so it's gonna be pretty 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 cool now to drive around in the Conqueror considering it, I liked it before but now that it actually has a turret that can do fairly well with its decent gun depression of minus seven I think the Conqueror is gonna be a tank that I won't be able to sell I am considering selling the E75, but I do not think I'll be selling this. I think this thing looks great. I think it's probably the one of the coolest looking tanks in the game. And I'm looking forward to playing with this on the live server. Look at all that cool detail. I wish there was something in these, these baskets. I think it looks kind of empty when they're not in there. But again, we don't have anything physics-wise to make things jostle around because we're gaming. So... 
I don't know when that stuff will ever come because it'll probably never be optimized enough to run on 1996 Russian laptops. So don't look forward to that, but look forward to HD Conqueror. Look Next, we've got the VK36. Look at this beauty. Looks a little bit like a toy tank. <laughs> kind of misproportioned. I think this is one of the most goofy looking tanks in the entire game. Especially when you mount it with the little derp gun. It looks like a toy. <laughs> it doesn't even look remotely real. I wish they would bring back the old VK36. It was actually a decent tank. This thing is... I don't know. I've never driven it, but I, I beat the crap out of them all the time. I don't think it's very strong. But uh, some people like it. I prefer my ARL to this. But if you give it the real gun, it will look like that. Which makes it look a little bit less toy looking. Or you could put on the stubby little 75mm. Or you could put the L70 on. Which is probably the, the best proportioned, I would think. It makes it look less stupid. But generally, yeah, VK36 is Aha, nice. and we've got the Patton. <laughs> and again, I mounted it with the derp gun because it looks funny. It's so cute. It looks like a little duckling or something. But we can't have that on there forever. We'll put on that gun. That looks pretty good. So this is an upgraded turret. You drop the turret back. And you can see there was a fade transition there. It wasn't a hard hard change. It looked like it kind of moved in and out a little bit nicer than it usually does. Or maybe I'm just seeing things. Some pretty good shadowing in here. Light glinting off the glass pieces in the cupola. I had read somewhere that the M46 patent did have errors maybe in the turret, but I, I'm not too sure about that. They might pull it, they might not. Knowing Wargaming, you just never know. But M46 patent, and on not the too bad. T110E3, the tier 10. Americano. Just death machine. This thing kind of looks like a Gundam to me. One of the Japanese anime cartoon. Very tough tank to penetrate from the front. See the back looks modeled a lot better now. I like the venting on the back of the engine bay. Grab handles for the top. Even the little machine gun port has a gun matlet. Isn't that sweet? It's a bit odd, these little things. I'm not sure how much vision you get out of there. <laughs> Unless you're looking for things that are in the sky. I guess that's that maybe that's what this thing was for, to angle up and then shoot at things in the sky as opposed to on the ground. Like the tracks. Looking sharp. Again, a lot of these American tanks share a lot of these road wheels and stuff, so... Next, T-110E3, or 4. This is the turreted tank destroyer that comes down the alternative line with all the turreted TDs. Except this thing only will go to like there, there. Can't rotate all the way around. Because if it could, it would smash its gun into its little engine block in the back. I like that shovel. It's a good looking shovel. Sledgehammer, got an axe. Looks like you've got some sort of spear, just in case you need hand-to-hand -hand combat. Overall, not bad. And on to the last tank that I can actually show, because some of the tanks aren't actually purchasable. The Type 62, as well as the Panther M10, which you can't buy anymore, and the T23E3 is a Clan Wars tank that I don't have. Uh, you can't. I can't show any of them because I don't own them, and you can't buy them through the interface, which is whatever on the test server. <laughs> so, last tank is the T62A, which honestly I think looks fantastic. 
it is a lot better looking than I think the T62 that is in Armored Warfare. I like all the nicks and scratches and cuts. It looks like it's had a bad shave. <laughs> it's got a little cl like lid over the, the front of this. This is not a searchlight. I think it's an infrared light for nighttime stuff. I have the H. This is with the HD textures, so this is about as good as it's ever going to look. This won't look as good as what they do with the renders when they're rendering them in Marmoset or some other 3D showcasing program. But generally, they look pretty good. They're a little bit blurry when you get up super close, but as long as you're about this far away, you really would have a hard time telling the difference. And with the way they, they let you pull the camera out and you have such harsh FOV in the game, you can't really. You don't really ever play the game like this, although it would be kind of cool and kind of nice, but. See, the road wheels look pretty good. Very soft looking. I don't know what they're doing in here to make it feel like this soft, but they've got some, they've got something going on in there. It looks odd. Looks good, but it looks odd. I like the little rim around the turret ring here. I'm not sure what purpose that serves. Maybe you don't get your hand stuck in there. And you got a little tent in the back. Of course, that doesn't jostle up and down because they're not doing what Battlefield does with their secondary motion stuff. And unfortunately, it looks like we don't have a log anywhere. They decided not to... Actually, no. Is that a log? No, that just looks like some sort of exhaust system. That looks like metal. Nope. No log. If you want a log, you'll probably have to modify the model and put a log in there yourself. Yeah, the gun barrel looks pretty sharp. Let's see if we can see the rifling. Ooh, not very much. Just barely. You can see some deflection points off the bottom of the lower glacius. Yes, I think between this T-62A and our Frenchy tank, the FCM, which is really medium tank, but we'll call it heavy tank for now. I think this one, this one, strongest tank that they might be able to pump out for this patch. And I will be taking a look at some of the extra stuff that they've done for this patch in a separate video. This was just to show off some of the HD tanks that I do have and was able to show. Thanks for tuning in, and I will see you guys in the next video.